Now this video is going to show you how to delete a non-active recovery partition. Now the reason why I want to do this is because I need to dual boot this with another operating system and unfortunately I can't do that because the maximum partitions allowed is four. Now as you can see I created the partition here hoping to go ahead with my proposed install but because now there's one, two, three, four, five, I can't do that. So I need to maintain the four limit. Now here, what I need to do is, this is my main active primary partition. So active being the clue here. If you mess around with this, you're gonna corrupt the system and the BCD as well. So we leave this well alone. C is where my Windows is currently installed. That's the main system. Here's my recovery. And here is the recover, another recovery partition, which this is the one that I'm going to need to delete. Now, if you right click here, there's no option to do so, nor is there above here. Now, this can usually be created when you're doing a new install or potentially more of an upgrade, i.e. from Windows 8 to 10, for example. But there are other reasons as well. So to be clear here, the one marked active contains your boot code, that's the BCD. If you delete this, your Windows won't boot. The other contains the recovery environment, which is this one. If you delete this, you'll break the ability to get into the recovery environment, which then allows you to troubleshoot and repair Windows. However, you could do that through other means, through a recovery USB CD or drive for example. In this case I'm going to have to do that because the priority here is to be able to dual boot. So in order to delete this we need to use command prompt. First we're going to type in disk part which opens up another screen. Now what we want to do is type lisk disk. That will show all the partitions as we can see in the background here. Click enter. So as you can see, we've got disk zero and disk one. Disk one being this part here where I would normally insert a USB in, in my system anyway. There's no media because there's nothing connected. Disk zero is online because I'm using it and the size of that is just under a terabyte. If you have more than one drive, they'll be listed here. Now what we wanna do is select disk zero, which is here. So we wanna focus on this one. So, select disk zero enter, and it now confirms that is the case. Now we want it to show the partitions as we could see in the screen behind. So, type list partition, press enter. Okay, so now it's listed the partitions. As you can see, this now resembles what we can see here. We want to identify exactly which one we're going to remove. We need to be really, really sure. So in my case, it's this 517 megabyte healthy recovery partition. As you can see, none of the others are close to that size. Here you can see it's called disk zero. That's the actual physical hard disk. So if you had more, you'd see one, two, or three. And the partition is the third one. That's one, two, three that's the active ignore this part because it's not allocated it's not being considered in the table here so here we can see it's the 517 megabyte now we can see here is partition 3 partition 3 it's called recovery which is fine it's 517 megabyte in size which matches and the offset, that's the drive that it's on, that's the, the total size. So we know it's partition three, 100% we're sure. We're going to select partition three in my case, obviously different in yours if applicable, and it's confirmed. Now this is the point of no return. We're going to delete this now, which is what we wanna do. But if you do this on the wrong partition, this video won't cover any resolution to that. So just proceed with caution. Basically, just be really careful. Double, triple check if you have to. I say that 
Although in my case it's relatively straightforward, you may have multiple drives, multiple partitions, so you need to be sure. Now, just to be really sure, if you type list partition again, another way to be sure is you'll now see an asterisk by the partition in question. So that confirms, yes, that is the one that I want to delete. Just another way to check. So now what we need to do is go ahead and delete this. So delete partition override. You don't need to type in three here because it's already selected as confirmed by the asterisk here. So delete partition override, press enter, successfully deleted the selected partition. Now we're going to now just confirm that. If you didn't notice in the background it just refreshed so we'll just minimize this and as you can see it is now gone. In my case it's been included within my unallocated space and now I've got four partitions which is the goal. So this will now let me dual boot to a system that I was choosing before this video and now that is done. If yours doesn't automatically get included within another unallocated space then what you'll need to do is assign it to an existing one. You'd basically right click and extend the volume. I don't need to do that but that's how you would do it should you need to. That's it for this video. I hope you found it useful.